Hey guys, welcome to the Dusty Academy. My name is Pramod, and this video is specially for the people who basically want to switch to API automation or they want to switch to API testing, probably manually also, right? But they hate coding. And if you are a QA fresher, even if you have an experience, right? This is gonna be a very very helpful topic for you. Let's jump into the directly to the couple of questions that you guys have and let's discuss them one by one by one. Make sure you are watching this video till the end because I'm discussing a couple of resources which are very important and I will discuss uh, many many things related to it like couple of playlists that you should do, couple of 30 challenges, 30 day challenges that you should do uh, to become an API tester. All right, so let's get started. Awesome. Uh, let me up this okay so uh, first of all the first question is is manual api testing is enough right this is very interesting question and this one this one is uh i think asked many many times guys this uh, this one is asked many many times uh so what's happening here is let let's expand this okay awesome let's check it out so uh if we talk about that okay is manual testing is enough a manual testing is enough. The answer is somewhat yes. I would say, let's make it bold, that somewhat yes. Because I have seen uh, with nine years of experience right now, right? Uh, there are a couple of folks who are doing API testing and they are doing it manually. They are doing the, they are basically using the manual tools like uh, Postman and couple of REST clients. And uh, I think they are using uh, SOAP UI Pro also to test the APIs manually, okay? They are not doing an automation for this. So I would say, and they have or already, I think they are doing for more than two, three plus, plus years. And after that, they have started automating. I think that's that's the easiest way to give the answer, yes. But if you want to start as a manual tester, and if you want to jump into the manual API testing, then yes, it is possible for you guys, okay? So I, uh, I have basically done that. I have seen people working with only manual API testing, and uh, they are working with like three to four years. This is completely, I have seen, uh, for, for long term, this is very important. You will ask me like Pramod, for long term, is it sustainable, right? Uh, if I only know manual testing, manual API testing, will I survive or not? Yes. So for that, I would say long term, no, because you have to eventually learn about the API automation and you have to do coding in this case. Okay. Uh, probably there are other tools, like there are codeless tools right now coming in the market where you don't have to code, but you have to just build a logic and test it out. So those things are coming into the market. So I think I am excited for them. I will discuss a couple of tools. Uh, which are codeless in nature and you can do the api testing for them but uh, if you are comfortable with coding uh, in long term it will be very helpful uh, for example you can use these tools like postman postman is i, I think everyone knows about it guys and you can use Renscope, and there are or many many rest clients online available that you can try out okay and make sure you know the basics which are really important for you guys so for, to become an api tester even as a manual tester you have to know the basics i'm going to talk about how to learn those topics also uh, the basics also okay the next question is will i get a job only by learning the postman this is really really important and uh, so my answer to this is to be honest i have seen i i think i ha even i have done it uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, when, I, when I was in a uh, MNC, very good MNC I was in, I was a manual tester. I had some of coding experience and some of the programming experience, okay? And I switched to a product based company where they were completely doing the uh, API automation manually at the time. And after the, after some time, so two, three years after that, we have automated this, those things. But uh, I knew the core Java. I didn't hate the coding and all, but I knew the core Java. But I have started with manual API testing. So this is very important. And with only Postman, I was able to crack that interview. Uh, of course, not with only Postman, but yeah, bo API testing with Postman was a big chunk of it in the interview. And after that, there was question related to manual testing as well as uh, test planning and other things like test TLC, life cycle. And there are a couple of questions related to programming. So I was able to crack and that's how I was able to switch. So you get the point, right? So yeah. Uh, I, and even uh, if you don't have, I have seen manual tester with postman with API testing experience are able to switch to a new job, right? And they are getting decent package that I have seen. So yeah, you can, I have seen people jumping from API automation directly with the basic programming language. So yes, uh, I, there are a couple of companies who are directly hiring. They are directly putting them into an API testing project manual plus automation uh, with only basic programming language. So yeah, even if you hate the programming and if you know core Java or core 
basic programming knowledge that you have because that you can pro program and create an automation uh, or you can work on an automation they are happy to uh, give you a job on this that i have seen yeah postman if you know it works with uh, javascript right most of the time so yeah if you have a basics of javascript that works because you can write the automation as well as uh, assertions and schema validation all the in the postman also so yes i have seen so show them the project so this is really important uh, this is what i have done so you can basically do a, some some kind of project you can automate for example uh, in the 30 days of api testing with postman right we have automated a github repo api it's a full crud end to end 30 days api uh, 30 days uh, challenge right where we have done it so you can do that and put them into your resume you can show them how you have done this schema validation security other things and uh, charles related things charles and postman like uh, extra logs and all these are the tools so yeah that i have some another question is very important which is i hate coding will i survive the aviators in existing uh for short term yes i am just giving the again the same answer for short term yes for long term eventually you have to learn the uh, libraries which basically support the api automation like rest assured or probably in python like py py test and other things so yeah uh, for short term you can survive for long term you need complex uh, there will be a complex scenario that you need to automate and those things eventually you have to do uh, you have to learn about it okay so yeah knowledge of coding is really really important uh, in the long term and it will basically avoid the risk of product failures right so that's why uh, for short term yes you can survive but after that you need to learn the coding okay i hope you are getting it so to be honest i have seen people uh, which those who know only postman are are doing api testing for 3 to 5 years and after that they have started learning it so this is really important again i am telling you with a disclaimer okay can i jump to manual to automation with only api testing knowledge or with api testing knowledge yes you can do that if you know the fundamentals web fundamentals if you know the stpp rest uh, if you are if you have done the 30 days of api testing with postman course uh, where we have done we have uh, basically handled all the api testing basics as well as automation uh, uh, of github api and many other apis with postman you can do that uh, definitely because uh, right now if you see API testing is really, really hot. And uh, I think whenever I take interview, right, the first, I think the second question or third question is related to APIs. So yeah, it's really important for all of you to start learning and pay attention to the APIs, okay? Uh, so what should be my two to three months of plan? So this is your plan. Uh, you have to do the 30 days of API testing with Postman, okay? It's perfect for beginners. Uh, there is no prior knowledge. Uh, you can do the 30 days of rest assured afterwards. You would have to learn the core Java. Of course, you can do Postman create, start doing the Postman scripts, create your own, own automation, add to your resume, right? And uh, for all of them, uh, the link I am going to give you is very simple. Let me click the summary. So link that you need to go is sd.live slash ytp. You will find all the YouTube playlist of 30 days challenges, okay? And this. And how do I become the API tester? This is very important. Uh, this video is already created in the STP playlist. Still, I'm giving you the high point, high level point, which is first you need to work on your mindset that I can con I can uh, become an API tester, that you have to work on your mindset first. You have to work on fundamentals, right? You have to take coaching. Of course, you need to do 30 days of challenges so that you are well aware of the all the topics. You have to join some community. Like, for example, you can join Ministry of Testing. You can join our SJ club. Right, you can you have to do the projects and put them into your resume and preparation and apply. This is the simplest way, and I hope you are you will be able to become an API tester or will have API testing added to your resume after this video. And definitely, even if you hate the coding, guys, if you don't uh, know the coding and all, uh, start learning from the manual perspective first, and then eventually you can move to automation. That's what I have done it in the past, and trust me, it works. And I have many, many of my students are still working on it, and more, many of them already switched, and that I have seen, that I am giving you a practical example, okay? Thanks for watching this video. I hope this video helps. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.